It's that zest to go, no shame on the flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's that zest to go. Sinking ships, deportation for Salvadorans, and the first LGBT friendly mosque, the Vice Evening Bulletin. Former child singer under fire for insensitive comments about Islam. Not everyone was amused by the recent stand-up comedy performance by Joshua Suerman, who was a popular child singer in the 90s. In his monologue, he talked about the Indonesian girl group Cherry Bell and its most popular member, Aniza. He said the reason why she's way more popular than the group's leader Chirli Juno is because Aniza is Muslim and Chirli isn't. President Jokowi said Indonesia needs to own 51% of free port share. During his visit to Indonesia's southernmost island of Rote, President Joko Widodo stressed that Indonesia should control at least 51% of the share of PT Freeport Indonesia, the company who has managed the gold mine in Papua for decades. Indonesia currently owns mere 9.3% of its share. Antara Indonesian minister orders Susi Pudgiatuti to stop sinking foreign vessels. Lahut Panjaitan, Indonesia's coordinating minister for maritime affairs have told Susi Pudgiatuti, minister of maritime affairs and fisheries to stop sinking foreign fishing ships in 2018. He said the government should spend more resources to increase its fisheries production. Merdeka. Indonesia implements zero tariff policy on Palestinian products. In an effort to help the Palestinian economy, Minister of Foreign Affairs Retno LP Marsudi said that Indonesia will not be collecting tax on Palestinian imported goods. Retno also said that Palestine is at the heart of Indonesia's foreign affairs. Trump administration to expel 200,000 Salvador residents. In Trump administration's latest move to tighten immigration enforcement, it's sending the program that has allowed people from El Salvador to live and work in the United States in 2019. El Salvador was struck by a large earthquake in January 2001, and since then some 200,000 Salvadorans have been granted a temporary protected status TPS, by the U.S. government. The decision to end TPS for Salvadorans, who are the largest group under the program, means that they could face deportation if they choose to stay in the U.S. Gay Mom pushes for Australia's first LGBT-friendly mosque. Nur war same as in a mom who once led a mosque in Melbourne. That's before he came out as a gay man in 2010. Now, after the Muslim clergy severed ties with him, has hoping to open a LGBT-friendly mosque in Melbourne, where he envisions the place as a safe haven for LBGT Muslims. He is in talks with philanthropists and the police to secure a building in the Melbourne city centre. North Korea to send delegation to 2018 Olympics in South Korea. As tension continued to subside between the two countries, North Korea has agreed to send a delegation of athletes, supporters and, and officials to the Winter Olympics taking place in Pyongyang a city 80 kilometers from the border of North and South Korea next month. 
South Korean officials told press that Seoul has even suggested that the two teams march together during the game's official ceremony. India's highest court to revisit law that bans gay sex. On Monday, the Supreme Court of India has agreed to review its 2013 ruling, which overturned the 2009 judgment of the Delhi High Court that decriminalized Section 377 of Indian Penal Code. Section 377 criminalizes consensual sexual relationships between adults of the same gender. What's the deal with men's rights activists and Asian fetishes? What do pickup artists, men's rights activists, insoles and outright white nationalists have in common? Their fetish for Asian women, of course.